In this video, I push the potential of Toon Squid and see just how many layers it can hold. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, the reason I'm making these is to entertain you guys, and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. Enjoy! I don't think there's much to this apart from just duplicating layers, basically, or adding layers. Yep, might as well start. Well, about to hit 100, and we have 100 layers. Well, I mean, at least we know we have one to create a huge project it can do um, 100 layers. Um, okay, might as well carry on. At this point, I kind of realized there was no conclusion, and if the performance of Toon Squid wasn't changing, I didn't know how many layers it would take to even, like, see a difference. I mean, the performance is pretty good. Still, like, as good as always. After a while, I was kind of losing concentration and um, started doodling a bit more, but um, I was still making some good progress. To be honest, I don't really care what happens. As long as I hit a thousand, I'll probably be happy. A thousand layers and subscribers, actually, because we're on 850, I think. So, I mean, once we hit a thousand, that would like, be so cool. Maybe this proves that Toonscoot is such a good app, because with Flipper Clip, you can't get more than like 20 layers at the most. But as you can see, there's like almost a thousand layers. It's crazy. We're about to hit a thousand oh, and a thousand layers. That is crazy. Look how many we have. I seriously had so many layers, I couldn't even scroll to the bottom. I know I've said it before, but this definitely proves how good Toon Squid is, especially since it's on an iPad. Because this is the first time I've done this experiment, I haven't really elaborated on it, but I'll definitely think about doing it again with like adding drawings on each layers and stuff. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.